I, 20 female, and my BF, 20 male, have been dating for 1.5 years and are medium slash long distance. Whilst this has been hard, I wouldn't change it for the world. During our relationship, we've had very little issues we've had to face, and any that we had have been solved swiftly and improved our relationship undoubtedly. However, this one problem takes the form of a person. Let's introduce the main protagonists in this story, Josh, 21M, has been best friends with my boyfriend for most of their lives. They've lived near and been to school with each other since they were young, and were very much inseparable. In fact, the first time I met my boyfriend in person Josh was there, and I honestly thought he was a half-decent guy, awkward, but with an oddly funny sense of humor. Josh met Shelby, 19F, while studying away at university, it's important to note that my BF and Shelby go to the same university, whilst Josh and others went to another close by. At first, my boyfriend was over the moon that his best friend had found someone he deeply cared about. Shelby was in her first year of university and living close to home in a student flat by herself, compared to Josh who lived in a shared house away from home with three others, Mark, David, and Tyler, all 20M. And this would soon be their downfall. Unlike me and my BF, Josh and Shelby spent every waking minute together and spent days at each other's houses. They would go out and party a lot, especially all the lads, including my BF, together, which would inevitably lead to some very drunken moments between all of them, many which I've been told about by my BF, and some I probably don't want to know. The tension and drama first started to appear the first time I met Shelby earlier this year, about February. When I went up to visit my BF at university, I work often long weeks at my job, which means I was only able to do this once a month or so, and my BF and Josh decided it would be an opportune time to introduce us to each other. I am a severely anxious person with not the best social skills at times so this meeting situation was already awkward enough, however my BF was able to keep me comfortable throughout the evening. We went to an arcade, followed by a pizza place. Shelby did a lot of fake flirting with me, which I tried to reciprocate to break the ice I suppose. However when we got to the restaurant, Josh and Shelby kept passing comments about me and my BF about us hugging each other and holding hands. They said, and I quote, you guys were having intimacy in the restaurant, which we didn't appreciate, but we let it slide after the night ended. As the months passed, tension started to build between Josh slash Shelby and Mark slash David slash Tyler. It started off with certain comments being made, to Shelby infiltrating all the boys' nights out and not leaving their house for days. Then came the opposite, where Josh stayed at Shelby's for weeks on end, with some speculation he tried to skip on paying his housemate's rent. Shelby and Josh got very behind on their university work, which ended up with Shelby dropping out after not even a year as she got so far behind on assignments. However as soon as Josh would try to leave her flat, Shelby would flip a fuse. She tried to end her life and take substances, which Josh of course would immediately run back to in order to pick up whatever pieces were left. And often Josh's reactions were not the best to handling her obvious problems, and Shelby would seemingly not get any sort of professional help. Shelby would continue to spiral and abuse substances frequently. There was even an instance where she tried to OD whilst Josh was sleeping next to her and he absolutely flipped when he found out. Their relationship between them and the other housemates deteriorated exponentially for the next few months, with me and my BF not seeing or hearing much of them as we were usually far away from them due to me working and my BF at university. You'd think me and my BF would be safe? You'd be wrong. From April slash May Shelby began to message me incessantly on Instagram and try prying on me and my BF's intimate and personal lives, which made us both uncomfortable on many levels. Josh began to message my BF about intimacy as well, and his personality had started to shift a lot from the awkward boy he used to be. She shared a post from her private story to me about her sex life on my birthday, which I just found insanely weird. I asked her to lay off it as it was just uncomfortable. But again she wouldn't listen, and instead decided to message me insulting things about my boyfriend before deleting them and claiming drunkenness. I plainly told Josh to get his girlfriend on a leash before I lost my cool, and I told Shelby to flat out leave me alone. 
And not even a day later, Shelby begins to spam me nonstop with random memes on Instagram, with the last one striking a nerve with something traumatic that happened to me. I was furious and blocked her thinking that would be it with the situation. But again, I was wrong. About another day later, I get a message from her on Facebook, of all platforms, telling me I was being childish and need to apologies. Apologies, for what? And the response that came from me was the most angry message I have ever sent to another human being. I called her juvenile, stupid, a substance taker, a rat, and that she'll amount to nothing. In whole, in one massive paragraph I had said what every person besides Josh was thinking about her. I blocked her on any remaining social media I could think of and just left it to rest and fester. Josh, understandably, was furious with the message I had sent. And whilst he never once expressed his dissatisfaction to me, he did so to my boyfriend who was even more upset at him for allowing his girlfriend to harass me for this long. Mark, who had been on our side for the situation the entire time, decided to switch up immediately and call me an A.H. for the whole thing. My boyfriend was furious with the two-faceness that had now emerged. Little did he know, this was now the downfall of the entire group. Months went by, with more backhanded comments made about the whole situation and my boyfriend started to drift away from his former friendship group. The cracks were all beginning to emerge, and my boyfriend became increasingly worried about being left with no friends at all. Mark became more and more two-faced to everyone, claiming David and Tyler were bullying him, not sure if this ever happened, but we doubt it did. Shelby continued more drama between everyone in the friendship group and created a bigger wedge between everyone. She caused havoc during exam season in the house, causing David and Tyler to get very very mad at her. But somehow, Josh and Mark accused them of being the AHs. And with all this my boyfriend continued to see his so-called friends, however a lot less regularly. During his meets with his friends, he would message me about all the backhanded comments made still and how the group didn't feel the same anymore. However, we chose to just keep to ourselves and enjoy any and all time we were able to spend together. Which brings us to today, September now where we haven't had any issues since with any aforementioned members. But tonight, things took a turn for no real reason. Last night, me and my boyfriend were playing Minecraft together, and before he left he mentioned how some of him and his other friends were doing some hardcore survival Minecraft for fun. He mentioned one of his other friends Fred, 20M, wanted to invite me along to play with them, to which I accepted. I've never met or spoken to Fred before but let it be known he knows about this situation and he's on my side for all of it. I joined the Discord server for it and went to bed. Today I looked on the server to find Josh and Mark on the server, which I just ignored, I wasn't going to ignite an old argument. However whilst I was at work, I saw Shelby join the server with an account she made only today. She sent many messages joking about abusing substances and quoting some of the insults I sent to her in my anger-fueled rant. Without a second thought, I left the server and went back to the last hour of my shift. What quickly followed was Shelby and Mark invading my own Discord server to come seek me out, however my boyfriend quickly removed them, and I later removed Josh as well. Mark messaged me to try wind me up, to which I told him to F off and he's a two-faced see you next Tuesday. I later messaged Fred to apologies but also found out he left the server after Shelby joined and is equally annoyed at why Josh invited Shelby when she wasn't wanted. I spent the last hour of my work shift hyperventilating and nearing tears, even making basic mistakes which my manager picked up upon. I got home and cried a river, but for what reason I don't know. I don't understand why she can't leave us alone, how she doesn't see what she's doing. She's alienated Josh from a once thriving friendship group and turned them all against one another. I keep telling myself this drama will blow over soon, but then something else seems to happen. I feel horrible for my boyfriend, he's lost some once close friends through all this. But like he said, if Josh chooses Shelby over his friends, then the friendship wasn't worth something in the first place. He's frustrated by all of this, and I'm hurt for him. I just don't know what to do. Are you happy now Shelby? Don't forget to click subscribe if you want more weekly updates. Thank you.